when we travel and we get to meet people in person, one of the people I'm always happy to see is our friend Amir. Now, he, today he's joining us remotely. Amir, please say hello to the audience. Hi, uh, my name is Amir Nasher. I'm actually um, a Cisco champion since 2017, and um, I'm working in Cisco Partner based in Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much for being here. This is a little bit of a different event. Um, you know, 2020 is a year where we have to use our creativity so that we can stay connected. If you could go back and tell us about all the other events you've participated in before and how your story with DevNet started. Um, my story started with DevNet actually in 2017. It was my first time to attend uh, Cisco Live. Um, so I flew from Saudi Arabia to all the way to Las Vegas. It took me more than 25 hours to arrive to, to reach there. And when I arrived there, the first day was um, the DevNet Express. So it was like my first time. What's DevNet? Uh, I just registered it because I, I, I saw it from the champions uh, space. And I registered uh, for DevNet. And then I started to join all the DevNet events and uh, Cisco Live events all the way in uh, Las Vegas, Barcelona, this year in Barcelona, last year in Barcelona as well. And um, it was really excited because it was like in, in uh, in Saudi Arabia, it was like the first time I know about DevNet. So we start, we became the first partner to to uh, enhance and do all the DevNet stuff in in the region, is in all the Middle East region. That's fantastic. If you can share with us some of the work you're doing with your your customers and any questions that they're coming to you with, um, you know, so that you can help them get the most out of their not only their Cisco investment but also their ideas and and their time. How is programmability helping all of you with that? Yeah, um, actually, the one of the nice things that we did is to integrate a Cisco collaboration solution into um, a hospital application, so the patients can talk with the um, with the doctor remotely. This this thing started like we did it like two years ago, and then when this pandemic started, we it was really helpful for the hospital. Actually, it, it's one of the biggest, uh, largest hospital in, in, uh, in the region. So it was really a nice investment for them. And it was uh, like a very big, uh, big break to, through for them to use uh, mobility and um, collaboration solution with Cisco integrated into their um, applications. This is the first case, one, one of the cases that we did. Other things that we, we enhanced um, guest solutions that integrate with, uh, with the collaboration solution with the core manager and WebEx teams and, um, and Cisco Jabber even. Um, we did uh, some integrations also into the uh, video conferencing solution where you can order a coffee or anything from the tablet of the test that um, that you're in the meeting room, so and then there will be like a tablet, a small tablet in the cafeteria or in the uh, and um, the coffee guy. He will see that this meeting room number one require like one coffee, one water, and and so he bring it directly to you. So you don't need to call them. What do you require to drink or something like that? That's that's fascinating, and I I know that you are one of the top collaboration. Um, experts within our, our Cisco champion community. Now, what did they used to call that? They used to call that Spark ambassadors, and then they call it WebEx ambassadors. Yeah. Can you update us on, on what's going on there? Yeah, WebEx ambassador is, is a, a very nice uh, program that we have a, a very large com community, more than two, 3,000 people. Uh, from around the globe. Um, and then we always share together all the uh, things and uh, innovations that we do over WebEx. And you know, WebEx became one of the most important um, platforms in this pandemic. So there was like a very large booming in this uh, program as well. Fascinating. I, I know you have your Cisco champion shirt. So if you could give us, um, you know, a, a message about uh, what it means to you to be a Cisco champion and maybe encourage others to join when nominations open. Um, Cisco champions became uh, like, it was one of the most important programs that I joined um, when I entered Cisco community. Uh, it really brought us together. Um, and it, uh, like personally from my personal experience, I become 
um, I know a lot of people and the leadership of Cisco through a Cisco Champions Committee. Also, uh, we always, when we um, have a Cisco Live or something, we always meet with top Cisco VPs, uh, like, for example, like this year and last year, we met with, with Suzy Wee, um, a Cisco VP, and uh, we always know about, there was like always, uh, there is like a pre-launching events and um, some of the things that Cisco are working in. So we all, because we have an NDA with Cisco, so we always get to know more about the things that Cisco work about and uh, planning to to um, to launch like in the next six months or something like that. So it's definitely worth it being in the Cisco Champion program, and I appreciate that invitation. So now yeah. that we, like you said, you know, during this time of um, you know that this year, this whole year, 2020, we um, have done so much with collaboration and staying connected, and you were sharing some innovations. What will your final message be to, to make sure that everyone stays inspired and doesn't give up and keeps learning, not just the technology, but also keeps following their own ideas that they may have? Yeah, actually, um, collaboration and technology has become like everyone, everybody was talking about um, a lot of things that people do in this world. But uh, in this year, technology proves that technology is the most important things. So, um, Cisco and all the other te technology companies talks about you can do work remotely um, since like five, six years back. And nobody was uh, believing that unless <laughs> until this year's come and this pandemic uh, force everyone to work remotely. So everybody uh, understand and um, knows that Cisco and other technology companies was right about these things. So um, it's always, no matter where are you and uh, uh, where you are, you still can work and can um, uh, give all your best without um, caring about about uh, the surrounding around you. That's a great message, and thank you for being ready when people needed help. And uh, like you said, it's not just about the technology, but the willingness to use it. It's so good to see you again. I'm so glad you could join us today. Thank you, Amir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sylvia.